My phone lines are down again. Comcast is proof that there really is a purgatory. The voice. Thank you for calling Comcast Business. Oh, look, the uh, assistant's on. Gave me a number to call. No business chat support available. Customer support at. Yep, I'll dial 1XXXXXXXX. That's what I'll dial. I'll dial, dial that. Mm hmm. It died again. One eight hundred three nine one three thousand. Let's see what happens. Oh, great! The voice. Thank you for calling Comcast Business. Mm -hmm. This call may be monitored or recorded. Of course for it more will. information about our privacy practices, yeah. visit us at xfinity.com/privacy. Okay, we'll do that. I have the numbers of your street address as 3292. Is this the account you're calling about? Yep. Sorry, let's try this. Enter or say the zip code where you have or want service. It's... It... Okay, I got disconnected a second ago. It's 3292. Before I send you to an agent, <laughs> I'll need a phone number or account number to look you up. Which would you like to use? Or phone, if you're uh, going to sign up for a phone new number. service, no, no, listen, no, listen. Customer. I want to talk to a human being. I understand you'd like to speak to an agent, but I need a little more information from you to better service your call. Let's okay. try this again. Okay, try it. I'll need a phone number or we'll account number to look you up. If you're going to sign up for new service, no, I'm not. Say new no, customer. No, no, I just gave you the phone number. I need not a new service. I need to speak to a human being, and uh, you need to put me on to somebody right now. I understand you'd like to speak to an agent, but I need a little more information no, no, from you, you to better service your no, call. Let's no, you don't. Again. No, no, mm no. -mm. I just need you to give me a human being. I understand you'd like to speak to an agent, but I need a little more information from you to better service your call. Let's try this again. Okay, let's try it again. Please say or enter any phone number associated. I, I, I just did that. So, but you're a computer and you don't give a shit, so. Sorry. Say or enter the 10 digit phone number for the account you're calling about. Or you can um, say. Ready? 856 694. Say or enter your account number now. If you need a minute to look it up, press the star key. I don't know the account number. You, you gave me a choice earlier account number or phone number, and I gave you the phone number five times. That's okay. We can still continue. Are you calling about a business account? Well, yes, this is the business line that they said to call, and we're calling it, so why wouldn't it be? Sorry. No, sorry, and I want to speak to a human being, please. I understand you'd like to speak to an agent, but I need a little no, more no, information. No, no, you don't, you don't need Better more of them, no. Call. Let's no, this again. no. Please call your governor or senator or congressman and tell them about Comcast. They're taking our money. They're making too much money. And for the $9 billion profit that they made last year, down $10 billion from the previous year? Sorry. You can say technical support, billing and payments, or more options. I need to speak to a person in the That's United right. States of America. Sorry, I didn't get that. To speak with a Comcast agent, press zero now. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Okay. I can't wait to say... Thank you for choosing Comcast Business. This is Cynthia. How can I help you? Hey, Cynthia, it sounds like you're from the United States. That's 
very exciting. Yes, sir. I'm from the United States. How can I help you? Why is it always so hard to get a Comcast representative when you have a problem with your business phone or even your home? Why does it take so long? Sir, I, I have no idea. I know that automation is a real serious issue with customers. But what is your account number? I don't know it. I can give you a phone number. But, you know, okay, I'll take it. Yeah, Comcast keeps letting me down, man. I mean, my equipment goes down. They changed it out. You know, they gave me $100 credit. I asked them for uh, 900 You know, I was down three days. and But Comcast made, they netted $10 billion okay. profit. Okay, okay. So what is the, what is the, uh, the phone number to the account? 856-694-4. What was your first name again? It's Cynthia, sir. Where are you from? I'm from Georgia. Yeah. How's the little bugs out there? Are they still biting? Yeah, they are. That sucks. Um, could you confirm the service address for me, please? Yep, yeah, 3292 Delcy Drive. And your name? Tommy. All right, Mr. Tommy, hold on. <laughs> it's your phone. You're having issues with the phone? fought with this thing all day trying to reboot it and of course i spent like three hours it's, it's showing that it's online of course oh, it is. are you getting some sort of error message or is it no doubt well i i had to take the battery out again the other day it died this is the box hey because you need to take the battery out also in addition to unplugging it you need to unscrew this guy watch i'm going to do that to reset it yeah yeah you know in, in addition to unplugging it. but it's a hassle it's not what i'm paying for you know Okay, hold on. Let me check into it. Hold on. Okay. Got the battery out. Now it's really dead, man. So, stop this and come back and put the battery back. Hopefully it resets. So, this is what I'm going to say. Look what's on TV. The Godfather. How appropriate is this music? There's a lobster, I guess. I've never seen the movie, not really. I know Sonny gets killed at the toll bridge in one of the series in New Jersey um, just because he didn't have exact change. We didn't have easy pass back then. So Comcast is a lot like uh, the Godfather. They control. So I'm going to say to them, Comcast is proof that there really is a purgatory. speak to Bobby and when he comes back I'll say hello Bobby let's go 
gonna take a walk over here. I gotta change some tapes. It sounds like I've been disconnected. I don't know. I heard that. De de didn't you? Sure. It's going to disconnect. So Let's see what's going on. We are speaking with Cynthia from Georgia. Okay. Hmm. This could be a good. I think I'm going to edit this all together and play it for you. Comcast. Comcast, the home of Exidity and beyond. Comcast. I imagine one day, if we uh, make it out alive, and there are starships traveling in space, and move forward and we get disconnected thank you Comcast so let me finish the joke so as the spaceship pulls forward and you see right through the window and there's this Comcast logo and it's got the sickle and the hammer and it says Comcast okay my, uh, yeah. my, my, and that's my Comcast really, number. It dumped me, see? So yeah, now I'm yeah, talking. It, it, it dumped me too. It, it dumped me too. And uh, I'm going to have a check come out because I did see a spike on the 13th. So yeah. there is something possibly going on with the physical modem. And when I went to, uh, yeah, so that's what cut us off is because I went to reset it and it stopped it. It's um, like it's not allowing. It's not, it's something up with the modem. It's not allowing the reset to take place. Yeah, no, it makes sense. So, you think they'll give me a million dollar credit, Cynthia? Yeah, I think they will. That's cool, you know, and, and if not, I I understand. I got a joke for you. Ready? I okay, I'm ready. I believe that the Catholics are right in that there is a purgatory. So when you die, you don't have to go to purgatory. You just say, hey, I had Comcast as my TV <laughs> provider. I know. Yeah, there's. <laughs> had to stop doing street drugs and so um, you know, just prescription meds now. And that was a pretty good joke. That yeah. was a pretty good. Thank you. It's mine. It, it is mine. Yeah. Anyway, so somebody will come out sometime. Yeah. Let me hold on. Let me set you up for this, and I need to ask you the COVID questions. So just hold on. Okay? Oh crap! So it's it it's no to everything. It's no to everything. Okay. Well, that's good. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, well then we'll do the scheduling part. All done. Cool. Hello, Yeah, they'll get in trouble. You know that, right? They'll they'll um, okay. they'll give you another vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you you full of jokes today, aren't you? Yeah, I'm full of uh, <laughs> rebellious sarcastic. Comcast is committed to the safety of our customers and our technicians. We have protocols that our technicians are following. So prior to scheduling this visit, let me ask you a few quick questions. Is anyone in the business on the quarantine for COVID nineteen? No. Is anyone experiencing flu-like symptoms? No. Everyone here is dead. Everybody's them? dead but me. Okay. Has anyone been exposed over the past 14 days? No. Is there any reason you can't give the technician 10 feet of social distance? Um, unless he wants to kiss me. And does your business currently support any health care activity regarding COVID-19, like a doctor's office, nursing home, emergency room situations, hospital testing site, anything like that going on there? 
Psychiatry. Just psychiatry. Okay. All right. Okie dokie. Moving right along. All right. A technician will be out to investigate the issue. If the service call fee may be applied if the issue is not related to Comcast equipment or wiring. Comcast would like to request that you or anyone else in the business wear a facial covering and you're required to maintain 10 feet of social distance while the tech works. Please be aware that in some states, masks are required to be worn by customers according to state mandates, and our technicians will also practice social distancing wearing masks as they are required to maintain 10 feet of social distance from the customer at all times. We agree? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to list that number, the 4,000 number, for the technician, or do you want me to give them your cell number? No, nah, you gotta, you got to give them my cell number because the 4,000 might not work. Okay, so give it to me. Let me have it. Your calls are forwarded to your cell phone number now? Yeah, yeah. I think I did that okay, um, a couple of weeks ago because of the trouble I was that's having hard. with Comicast. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> anyway. No, you're not. I you're mean, actually very funny. Thank really. you. Thank you. Yeah, you are. My wife doesn't think I'm funny anymore. Living, you write jokes? What's that? <laughs> this is, here's another situation. Uh -huh. um, the first thing I have available is going to be Friday, August the 20th from 8 to 10. 10 to 12. I can book you for one of those. I'll have an appointment on the books, and then I can try to get you work for today or either in the morning. Yeah, you know. You want to go for it? Do it Friday, 10, 10 to 12 is fine. You know, but if they could okay. call me. It's funny, the last time the rep came out, they said they were supposed to come right away, you know? Like, like that same day, yeah. and they came three days later, and, and uh, he was sitting in my driveway wow. in the morning, and I said, Hey, man, it's a good thing I came in a little early. Didn't they give you my phone number? And he said, no. I'm like, that sucks. I could have missed you, you know? So. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm talking to you now. That's what's good. Okay, so do you want him to give you a call before he arrives? Like give you a 10-minute, 10, 15-minute heads up? Yeah, if he can, that, that would be cool. Do you know his name or not yet? No, I won't know his name. No? Yeah, no. Okay. Hold on. So what's happening in Georgia today that's different? I don't know. I'm inside all the time, so. Yeah? Other than the weather, other than the weather, that's it. 15 minutes prior. So did you ever watch Star Trek? When you were younger, or you yeah, I'm a, I used to be a, I used to be a trekkie. Okay, so the guy that was on Fantasy Island, what was his name? He played in an episode with Captain Rick, Kirk. Rick, 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 Ricardo Maltabon, and Hard, I just hate myself. Yeah, and he was a bad guy. What was it, the Wrath of Khan or something? <laughs> right. Well, this is what I envision. Yeah. This is I'm setting you up now. I envision this in the future, in like the next like thousand years when we're in a starship, if we make it out alive, we're on a starship, one day the Enterprise is going to be riding up and they're going to see this big planet and as the ship comes forward on the front screen, it's going to say, Comicast, and there's going to be a sickle and a hammer and they're going to be the... <laughs> They're going to be the... I got to go. I know. Too, you know what? I know I'm not right. You did too much. You did too much. You know it's all true, though. You don't have to admit it because it's being recorded for quality purposes, right? For both of us. For both of us. Exactly. I wish the board exactly. of directors would listen to it. They might get over their, their heroin usage, you know, and, uh, and all the homes that they own. But anyway, thanks for your time. I appreciate you. You too, sir. You take care, all right? All right, all right take care. Bye-bye. You're going to receive a survey. Look, you're going to receive a survey with yep. regards to this service call, so any feedback is appreciated. And enjoy the rest of your day. I know you will. If you I give you me will. $200, I'll give you the best stars are all the way across the top. And if you give me $100, I'll give you four and a half. So. Oh, you oh. Give me a credit. I go. All right, thanks for your I time. Go. All right, too. Bye, sir. Bye-bye.
Bye-bye. Okay, so much for that, right? Am I bad? Just trying to be a regular guy. Yeah, whatever, right? Yeah. Got to be myself now, eh? Hi. If you're like me, you hate Comcast, don't you? But don't you also hate Verizon, T-Mobile, A, D, and D, and other large carriers? Okay, see ya. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna hit this button right now. Go look at it. And one, two, three.